Hello everyone and welcome back to One Arm Robber. In today's video, I'm gonna show you to loot the Robin Research Facility stealthily using C4. And no, we won't be masking up or using any guns throughout this heist. The only tools that you'll need is a lockpick and C4. Also, the skill guard dodger will come in handy. Without further ado, let's get this one started. When we first start this heist, you wanna grab your duffel bag and inside the duffel bag, you wanna put all your C4 and your lockpick. And from the truck, you wanna take a immediate left and head down the walkway past this guard and through the gate down here. Now this is where the skill guard dodger will first come in handy as we try to avoid this guard's line of sight. After doing so, we're going to go down here to the shipping container, head right through and sneak in right behind this guard, wait for him to turn, crouch under here, head down here, and now we're going to wait until this guard turns. So once this guard turns, this camera should turn, we're going to sneak in right behind him, go up the stairs, leave our duffel bag right here, grab our lockpick and unlock this door to the right here. Now we're gonna get caught by this camera in which we're gonna hide inside this room and wait for the guard to do his check-in. Once the guard leaves, we're gonna go over to the stairwell, wait for the door to close, put our lockpick back in our duffel bag, get caught by the camera yet again, hide on the left side of this door, sneak in right behind this guard and turn off the alarm. After doing so, we're gonna hide in this middle section and wait for the guard to pass. Once he does, we're gonna open up this door, sneak outside, grab our duffel bag, head over to the left, grab our lockpick, and unlock this door. Now, after unlocking this door, grab the laboratory key card and place it in our duffel bag. After doing so, grab our duffel bag, head down these stairs, sprint through the break room, pick out our lockpick, and unlock the door to the security room. After unlocking the door to the security room, grab one C4, place it on the right side of this guard, Once it does, grab his phone and do the check-in. After that, we're going to grab another C4, place it right behind this guard. We'll grab his phone and do the check-in. And now as fast as we can, we're going to grab this guard's body and drag it into the break room. Now, after doing all that, we can go out here, take a immediate right, open up the door, close the door to the break room just to be safe. Go inside here. Close this door for now, grab one C4, and we're going to chuck it at that guard all the way down there. It should take out the guard. We'll grab his phone and do the check-in. Just to be safe, we're going to grab this guard's body, drag him over here to the side. Now we don't have to worry about any guards throughout the rest of the heist, except the one in the side hallway. And I'll show you how we'll deal with them later. But since we're not masked up, we don't have to zip tie the civilian either. We're gonna go back to our duffel bag, grab our laboratory key card and scan the door. Now we have access to the laboratory. Now we're gonna grab our lock pick and we're gonna unlock all these doors. Now after unlocking all these initial doors, we need to unlock the doors in the side hallway. So what I recommend doing is unlocking this door to the main door, make sure the guard is not looking and head back to our truck. What we're going to do next is grab some duffel bags and bring them back into the laboratory. Make sure not to get caught. Go back into the laboratory. Let go of the bags. Try to catch them as best as you can. And the first beakers that we're going to try to get is the ones in the side hallway. So what we're going to do is open up this door, head inside, grab these first two beakers in the middle doorway and place them in our duffel bag. After doing so, we're gonna take our lock pick, make note of where the guard is. If the guard is on the right first, we're gonna let him pass by to the left. If he's on the left, we're gonna let him pass by to the right. Unlock this door, open it, stand back, and we're gonna wait for him to pass by. Once the guard passes by, sneak in right behind him, take out your lock pick, and unlock this door. After unlocking this door, place the beaker inside our duffel bag, along with our lockpick, and hide inside the middle room here. Now we're gonna wait until the guard passes by yet again. Once the guard passes by, sneak in right behind him, hug the left so we're blocked by the door, take out our lockpick and unlock this door. And now after this, we don't need our lockpick anymore. Grab the beaker, place it in our duffel bag, head down here, Go through this door, 
and close the door behind us. Now, after doing this, we can gather all the rest of the beakers like normal without worrying about getting spotted by any guards. Now, once we have all the beakers, we're gonna take them into the laboratory, place one bag next to this centrifuge and place the other bag next to this centrifuge to make this heist go a little bit faster. And once we turn all the beakers from blue to pink, we should have nine in total and we'll take them all back to the truck. Now, if we have two bags worth, instead of doing two trips, we can make one trip by doing the one bag method. First off, grab the first bag like normal. And as you're holding the bag, hit escape, let go of left click and hit escape again. Now you're holding the bag without holding left click. Now we're gonna grab the second bag like normal. And while we're doing that, we're gonna hop over a table like so. And it should all go into one bag. Just to be safe, we can flip over this bag and there's nothing in there. So what we're gonna do next is come down here to this door. We can sprint right through it. Make note of where the guard is to not get caught. And once he turns, sneak around this desk through the front door and head back to the truck. And once we get back to the truck, we can end the heist. And this is how you loot the Robin Research Facility stealthily using C4. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you wanna see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you wanna see more tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.